Welcome back. So today we're going to read a book titled The Many Colors of Harpeet Singh. So let's go ahead and get started. The Many Colors of Harpeet Singh by Supriya Kelkar, illustrated by Aaliyah Marley. Harpeet Singh loved his colors, bright, muted pastel, or neon. He had one for every occasion. He wore yellow when he felt sunny, spreading cheer everywhere he went. He wore pink when he felt like celebrating, bopping along to the Bahangra beats. He wore red when he needed an extra boost of courage. Harpeet took great care of his colorful patkas. He made sure they were clean and soft, smoothing each one gently before putting it on. One day, Harpeet's mom announced that she found a new job in a snowy town across the country. It'll be fun, his mom said. It'll be an adventure, said his dad. It won't be the same, said Harpeet. Saying goodbye took a lot of courage. Harpeet also had colors for not-so-happy occasions. He wore blue when he felt nervous, his heart thumping in his chest. He wore gray when he was sad, like a cloud about to rain. He wore white when he felt shy, not wanting to be seen. Lately at his new school, Harpeet had been wearing white an awful lot. He wore it on a field trip. He wore it for a class party. He even wore it on ordinary days because even on ordinary days, he wanted to be invisible. Do you want to wear red, his mom asked. No reason to be brave, Harpeet replied. How about pink, asked his dad. What's there to celebrate, said Harpeet. Maybe all you need, said his mom, is a little sunshine. Harpeet shook his head and sighed. Look outside. No birds, no blooms, no beach, just cold. The next day, Harpeet went to school in white, feeling gloomier than ever before. It seemed like everything in his town was frowning along with him, even the snow. But it wasn't a frown at all. It was a smile, and Harpeet knew who it belonged to. I like your hat, said Harpeet. I like your hat, said the girl. Mine's not a hat, actually. It's called a podka said Harpeet. Mine's itchy, said the girl. Harpeet laughed. I'm Harpeet, he said. The girl extended a mitten. I'm Abby. The next day, Harpeet was sure to wear red. For the class party a week later, he tried pink. It wasn't long before he dug his yellow potka out of his drawer. He made sure it was clean and soft, smoothing the wrinkles out gently before putting it on. Soon the trees had buds and the outdoors were filled with sounds of chirping birds. All that's missing is the beach, said Harpeet's mom. She turned to Harpeet. So what color are you wearing tomorrow? Maybe white, he said and smiled. It reminds me of snow. Yes, Harpeet Singh loved his colors. He had one for every occasion, even just for hanging out with a friend. A note from Simrang Jeet Singh, a scholar and professor of Sikhism. Guru Nanak found the Sikh religion about 500 years ago in the Punjab region of South Asia. He believed in one God who lives in everyone and everything, and all Sikhs should practice core values like service, justice, and love. The Sikh turban represents a commitment to living these values. In this story, Harpeet likes to express himself through the colors of his podcasts. The colors that he associates with his moods are his personal choice, as Sikhs are free to choose the color, styles, and even the designs of their turbans. The specific turban that Harpeet wears is called a patka. This is a common style for young boys. Both women and men can wear turbans, though it is true that more men wear turbans than women. There are also some Sikhs who choose not to wear turbans at all, but still practice the faith. Turbans remind Sikhs that everyone is equal and important. How? In the past, only kings and queens could wear turbans. The Sikh leaders, called gurus, believe that all people should wear turbans to signify that every person is royal and that no one is better than anyone else. I think about these values each morning as I wrap my turban around my head. 
and that is the end this is a great book that i just learned a lot from so i learned that the colors don't mean much it's just your own personal choice what color you wear on top of your head if you are part of the sikh religion one thing i did enjoy learning was that they choose to wear turbans because the turbans are a reminder that everyone is equal and no one is better than anyone else i like that message so anyways i hope you learned something new and i hope you enjoyed this book and i'll talk to you later bye